Hey folks, this is Jeff again with SimSamurai.net. Welcome to Spaghetti Central. You're looking at the back side of my PC on an E762 motherboard from EVGA, otherwise known as the Classified 4X. Um, basically what you're looking at is a lot of cords and cables, which is unfortunately ridiculously confusing and is exactly why you need to lay all this out on paper and draw it out so that it will make sense. Um, up at the top you see my plugins uh, for my video cards. I've got three video cards using five outputs total. Uh, port 1 has my pilot and co-pilot monitor on it. Uh, port 3 has just the projector output on it and port 7 has two more monitors on it. Um, and so there it is. Uh, basically down here uh, you're looking at USB ports which I'm getting ready to plug in and you want to do these one at a time just like when you install the video cards you want to install your video card one at a time configure it one at a time you know shut the computer off plug in the other video card turn the computer back on configure it and so on and so basically I've plugged in an additional USB port right here and these two are for a little multi-card reader I have on the front of my computer case this little USB is for my Turtle Beach headset which provides it power for the bass and speakers and this is for one of my external uh, USB hubs which powers some of my flight controller devices and so let's go ahead and plug this in or at least attempt to try and film and not drop things at the same time yes sometimes it's a comedy show but that's just the way things are okay there we go and if all things are going correctly my computer is hopefully uh, absorbing that information and reading it and knowing that I now have a USB hub plugged in and so if we move over here um, this is how I like to do things obviously your speaker controls are over here on this side this is your internet connection I like to put my mouse and keyboard uh, right below the internet so when everything else is unplugged you always know that you've got internet mouse keyboard in a stack in a column uh, in this row and on my motherboard I've actually got one two three four five six extra ports now that I can use uh, for plugging stuff in so I've got two more USB hubs that are four port hubs and so I'm going to plug that first one in right here there it goes I'm going to give it about 20 seconds to recognize that one say you know device driver found thank you and thank you device now ready for use etc I'm gonna assume that uh, it's doing its job without me looking at it usually wait about you know good 20 30 seconds and now I'm gonna do the other one Here, let me get my hand out of the way. Sorry for my bad video skills, but I'm trying to hold this and shoot at the same time. There you go. Okay, so now I have three plugged in. We've got one here, one here, and then the further one over here. So we've got three, and they're four ports each. So we've got a four port here, four port, and then four ports. So that's 12 ports available now that I just plugged in. Um, and they are all self powered, 5 volt, 2.5 amp hubs and the reason why that's important is because you want to make sure that each hub or rather each USB port on that hub has a full 500 milliamps or 5 volts to its own self and that is very important because that's what USB 2.0 and above requires and when you're dealing with flight controllers and peripheral avionics wear and stuff like that uh, chances are it's going to be using more power than you think and so it's really important that your USB hubs have a full powered 
power supply. Again, my UGTAFs completely explains all this, but uh, I, I'm speaking from experience here. I've bought hubs that are underpowered and have had just a ridiculously large amount of problems with uh, controllers and stuff like that, trying to get things figured and not knowing why they're not working and eventually found the problem and, and that was it. They were just underpowered. So uh, my book explains all this. Um, if you want to learn more, please buy it. Anyway, back to the lesson at hand. Um, so now that I've plugged in these four USB ports, it's time to plug in my yoke and rudder pedals. And I could plug my yoke and rudder pedals into one of these external ports, but I think because that they are main controllers, uh, you know, meaning it's something that's kind of the, a key component of your flight simulator being your yoke and rudders. Obviously, it's something that's, I, I guess, a core component or a key component in your sim. It's something that I, I, I feel I want to always plug into my motherboard directly. And so I assign these furthest two left ports for that purpose. I'm going to put my uh, flight yoke on the top and my rudders on the bottom. And again, you know, plug these directly into your motherboard and not a uh, external yoke. So if I can find them, here they are. Here's another thing that I like to do. Um, I use what's called a little P-Touch label maker. And, you know, you little, make a little flag on all your USB devices. This will help you immensely in, in maintaining some... Uh, organizational skills and situational awareness as far as what you've got plugged into your computer um, it really really helps us to know what each one of these USB devices is especially when you've got about 15 of these things plugged in um, this will solve your problems quickly so let's go ahead and plug in the yokes first um, and I'm gonna plug them in on the bottom and so these are my dual yokes Actually, uh, I'm using, I, I built my own dual yokes, but using a CH Products circuit board um, just so that it will still be plug and play immediately off the bat. Um, and so here we go, let's plug these in. Let's give it a few seconds. I can hear my hard drive crunching. says installed successfully and then let's put the the uh, rudder pedals right on top of that boom 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 and there we go rudder pedals installed so we've got rudder pedals and yokes here uh, the center port or firewire port I'm not using. I've got an extra port up here, which I'll probably use for my Logitech, uh, you know, video camera. Um, and then one of my USB hubs is down here. And then on the second column over here, another USB hub. Then again, we've got internet, mouse, keyboard, and then my speaker connections, headset connections etc. Um, I, I actually split these on my external audio out. I've got a three-way splitter. One goes to one headphone, one goes to the other headphone, and the other goes to my amp. So three. Headphone, headphone, and amp. And then I've got a dual splitter for my microphones. One for my pilot microphone, the other for my co-pilot microphone. And then over here um, on the other USB card that I have. These go actually to a multi-card reader that I have on the front of my PC. Um, the other one goes to the third USB hub that I have and then that goes uh, to actually power one of my headsets because one of my headsets has a USB uh, plug-in on it um, because it's a kind of a high-end audio headset requires a little extra power and so it's got a USB port um, and so that's it for plugging in controllers. Um, next video, I will actually detail showing you how to plug in some of the uh, 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 avionics I have for flight simulation um, into the USB hubs. So thanks for watching and tune in for the next video.